we're going to talk a little bit about why in these days many are getting attacked and it's going to surprise some uh, because they all together think it's for this or this reason but uh, what the Lord showed me I'm about to explain but first I'm going to tell a dream uh, in this dream this dream was a uh, 18, 17, 18 years ago. But I had this dream that I was at my uh, grandpa's house. And he had moved from this old shack type of trailer into a, another trailer. And the old trailer had been, you know, used for storage and there was no electricity running to it. So in this dream, I'm going to the new trailer, but it's at nighttime, so I look over. And I happened to notice there's a light on in the old trailer that has been just uh, run down. And it caught my attention. Uh, it intrigued me because there wasn't no electricity run to it. But the, the there was a light in the window. Next thing you know it, I'm inside. And I see Jesus in a table. And he has his main soldiers with him. And they all have these like leather helmets on, like an old time uh, helmet. They're protective helmets because they're about to go into battle. Well, they had the battle plan laid out on the table. And what I realized about the battle plan was that it, the, the, the main part of this battle was first to destroy the weak Christians. Because really they weren't Christians at all. They were just in the way. Uh, I believe the partly the reason behind this dream is happening now. Where many are getting attacked left and right. But I think it's the Lord. He has to try everybody. Uh, because what we're about to face or what we are facing is going to take a, a higher level. Of strength and intensity uh, especially if uh, you know they're not walking in his will uh, they're teaching false doctrines uh, things that don't really help out with the kingdom of God that don't really wake the Christians up You know, uh, there's a lot of false doctrines out there. I mean, starting with people trying to teach over fallen angels, Nephilim, Anunnaki, uh, Nibiru, uh, generational cur curses, the rapture doctrine. All these are false doctrines. Uh, and the doctrines are uh, a direct result of the heart. And where they stand with God. Because that's where your doctrines or ideas stem from. It's things that either line up with God's word and God's heart. Or their rebellion against him. I want to tell a couple more dreams. Uh, one dream it was uh, me and my dad were together. And uh, there had been a first wave attack from the enemy. And the Christians, so-called Christians, went down. Then there was a second wave of uh, attack. And uh, the rest of the Christians went down, except for me and my dad. And it's either because we were too stubborn, uh, strong-willed, we didn't give up, uh, or, you know, we just, we just stood our ground. But it was going to get so bad... Uh, and so it was so much worse that uh, it would be almost unbearable. Not just the wave of attacks, but what we were about to face. But the weak Christians fell to the left and to the right. This other dream, um, in this dream, I was Superman. I, I had on the, you know, the full uniform, the colors were showing up. And I was outside, 
And the reason why I'm telling you this dream is because I think the, fir uh, the first couple dreams stem into this dream. They, it's it's uh, what happens after. But anyways, there's people sitting around outside in, in just different areas, little groups, and it was day. And uh, there was some guy sitting on this like concrete wall to hold up or to support the dirt from uh, just sliding down further like just a supporting wall and they were just sitting on it and one guy said if you're really Superman let me shoot you and I said okay so he shot at me bullets bounce off my chest and he goes well let me shoot you again and I said no and I ran to him fast and broke his neck well uh, there was this guy sitting not too far from him who had long hair and he was kind of a hippie type of person and when he seen the power that I had, it bothered him. It troubled him. And uh, after a while, he began to stir himself up. And then I noticed he went to other people, started stirring them up. And then uh, I noticed this uh, middle-aged woman. And when she got infected by him, uh, along with the others, her eyes were starting to swirl with this blue fire. And I knew it was the mark of the beast. It was a spiritual mark. A mark that they were gonna. It was like they were being transformed, and I knew once they all fully awoken, they were tr they would try to kill me. But I was the man of steel. Uh, in this dream, and uh, they were gonna they were gonna kill me. So I was flying up, trying to bust up out of the earth. And when I was trying to bust up out of the earth, it was like I was trying to break out of a womb. But that was the end of the dream. There is another woman that God gave this dream to. I'm not saying that everything that she speaks is coming from God, but uh, her name was Glenda Linkus or Lomax, or also known as Texas Author One. She had a dream about uh, it's called a huge end time battle, and the very same things I dreamed of, she dreamed. So it was an, it was a two witness about this event. You know, God has given dreams to everybody. It's not because you're a prophet or you're a righteous person. He, his reign falls on the just and on the unjust. So, the good, the bad, the ugly are all getting dreams. And if they come to pass, that still doesn't mean you're in His perfect will or God favors you or anybody else above anybody. The trouble with this is though we're having dreams who's going to actually enter in who's actually going to fulfill these dreams because we're supposed to wake out of sleep you know just because you have a dream uh you're flying it doesn't mean it's the rapture it has nothing to do with the rapture doctrine but will many search the word of god to understand any of these mysteries do any really love God? See, it says God will send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. And if you believe in the rapture and you're sent a dream about flying, then yeah, it seems like it confirms what you're believing or thinking. But really, what's happening is it's a snare, it's a trap, because you're going to be sent a strong delusion. God's finding out who really love Him. And those who really love Him uh, are searching for His true heart. And, and when Paul talked about uh, being caught up to the third heaven, or being caught up, it, it was no disappearing trick. And when he told us not to intrude into things uh, about angels being puffed up by our fleshly minds, he was talking about the very things that are going on today. And he said, When many will heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, yeah, you're getting hits on YouTube because people are having itching ears. They want to hear this lie or this lie or this lie. And yeah, teachers are set up for them. And many false teachers and false apostles and false prophets are arising today and leading away many. There are some of you that are dreaming about bearing four children or babies and then being imprisoned in camps. Well, that's in the Word of God. You know, a lot of people interpret these scriptures as just being the Jew for the Jews, but, you know, 
Paul said, we, a Jew is not one outwardly, but one inwardly. That means those who walk by the faith of Abraham are spiritual Jews. So the word of God is pertaining to us. And God's not mocked. He's not fooled. He sent out his word and his word won't return back to him void. And his word was meant for those who walk in the spirit. So to those, woe unto them that are witch all, that means they're, they're pregnant. And to them that give suck, they just had babies. In those days, for there shall be great distress in the land and wrath upon this people, and they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive. That's why you're seeing yourself in prison camps or FEMA camps. And all nations and Jerusalem shall be trodden down to the Gentiles, unbelievers, until the times of the Gentiles shall be fulfilled. There should be signs in the sun that's happening, and in the moon that's happening, and in the stars that's happening, and upon the earth distress of nations. All these nations riding, they're full of distress. Riding over simple matters, small matters, that they blow out of proportion because the nations are in turmoil because uh, as a whole they're feeling that something is going on. And yes, there's distress in nations with perplexity, the seas and the waves roaring. All these tsunamis that are killing not only tens of thousands, but hundreds of thousands. Men's hearts failing them for fear, for looking into those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And that's not only in the earthly realm, but in the spiritual realm. But many are having dreams and they're interpreting them falsely according to their own heart's desires. And repentance is looked at as something, as a key to get out of the, uh, out of the world and not as a true repentance. Because you can say, well, let's repent, let's repent. And just by not doing something, you think that you're going to get out of here. Well, i got news for you. Jesus said, I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. Keep them from, keep from evil. Just like the church of Philadelphia is kept from the hour of temptation. They're not removed from the hour of temptation. Uh, and that word from in the Greek can mean through. But with the word of God, the word of God will clear up matters. The Word of God teaches the Word of God. God bless.